Great questions, great questions. Um, I've asked a question about, is just cancelling enough, or do you need to go through the deeper roots mm. of it? And actually, you know, here's the thing. Uh, if you just do general spiritual work, like 12 Steps, Course in Miracles, Feel Your Feelings, and do the Cancelling Beliefs, um, in <clears throat> maybe nine and a half cases out of ten, that's enough. Because as you do general spiritual work, you'll be clearing out the deeper roots anyway. You know, your resentments, your fears, uh, handing things over into God. So that will take care of that. And you cancel the specifics. Um, Hawkins actually said, like, in his own experience, um, all of his illnesses went with just the general work and the cancellings, except for one illness. And there was one illness uh, that he had. I forgot which one it was. It was something to do, I think, with bleeding. And, uh, and it, it didn't, it, he would cancel it, it would go, it would come back again. And then he, he, he said for that one he had to pray for the deeper message to be revealed behind it. So generally speaking, everything I've done, I think, has, been, has gone with, without needing to go for a deeper issue. Because I think when you're doing general spiritual work, you do clear out the, the general issues anyway. And with feeling out the feelings, you know, when you've got symptoms, like, you know, you know, for, here's my view, maybe controversial, and I'm not a woman, but uh, on PMS and everything. Um, <laughs> but here it goes, I can get into trouble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and child, get, I'm as well, please, because we stay away from that subject. I might, get, in a room full of I might, I might get lambasted, but it will, <laughs> it's good to be brave. Anyway, look, you know, like I've had kidney failure, I've had, I've had gout, I've had like severe symptoms. And like PMS for me is just symptoms once a month. And the thing with the field of feelings is you feel out the feelings, the symptoms of a thing. Mm -hmm. And once you felt out the feelings, the, the symptoms and the condition disappears in my experience. Mm -hmm. So like just by feeling out the feelings and cancelling my belief in kidney failure, it just vanished from my life. By feeling out asthma attacks whenever I had them and cancelling my belief in asthma, the asthma attacks stopped. When I had gout, I'd sit with that pain and feel it out until it, would, until it would vanish, and cancel my belief in gout, and it vanished. So for me, uh, even though I'm not a woman, you know, like once a month you get all these symptoms that flare up. If you just sit through those feelings and cancel all the things that are supposed to be happening, you know, whatever it is, bloating, um, uh, hormonal changes, whatever it is. So if you cancel those and just sit with the feelings and feel them out every month. My thing with flare-up, when I had flare-ups of various illnesses, and I'd feel them out. They became less intense and less intense and less frequent and they stopped. So that, that's what I would do if, if, you know, with anything that's regular, inflammatory and, and, and it goes. So, but getting back to the earlier question of, um, the early question of, yes, so sometimes there is a deeper meaning, but, and you know, um, Hawkins, um, like I said, with kidney failure, an acupuncturist said to me the kidneys are related to the energy line of fear, which made sense to me because in that addiction I was af afraid all the time, you know. So, but actually doing general spiritual work would have just cleared that up anyway. So I didn't need to be told to do that. Um, with um, some of this stuff is yeah, karmic, mm -hmm. but, um, but even, you know, what, uh, with karma, sometimes, you know, and what you've done to others you suffer it out yourself, but you can feel it out and cancel it out. It's going to accelerate it, accelerate that thing. Now, like, let's say, um, like I intuited with, um, well, gout is pain. Well, you know, gout is pain in the feet. Now, it's probably a pain to other people. You know, it might still be a pain to other people. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, you still don't need to, most of the time you don't need to know that. Because, uh, or, you know, neck pain could be like you're paying the neck to people, or someone in your life's a pain in the neck. But still, if you do general spiritual work, you know, if you're doing 12 steps, you'll be like doing your inventory. If you're doing your Course in Miracles, you'd clear that out anyway, without needing to, like, find out. There, there is a prayer you can do, like, uh, to the Holy Spirit of God, like, God, please reveal me the deeper meaning of this illness, and just do that prayer every day, and then at some, it should pop into your mind. You know, you, you you know you got you're racked with pain. You are a pain. That's why. You know, you know, <laughs> you know, it will just pop in. But still, the general work should do it nine, nine times out of ten. 
you don't need to know. Mm. And the one time out of ten, you go, well, I've cancelled, I've done the work, and it still hasn't gone, I'd say just pray, pray for it to be revealed to you. It will come to you in some way. Someone will give you a book. Mm. Suddenly it will pop in your head one day, okay, that's the meaning of it. But, um, yeah.